Gary Starkweather, inventor of the laser printer, dies at 81. Gary Starkweather, an engineer and inventor who designed the first laser printer, bringing the power of the printing press to almost anyone, died on December 26 at a hospital in Orlando, Florida. He was 81. His wife, Joyce, said the cause was leukemia. Starkweather was working as a junior engineer in the offices of the Xerox Corporation in Rochester, New York, in 1964, several years after the company had introduced the photocopier to American office buildings, when he began working on a version that could transmit information between two distant copiers, so that a person could scan a document in one place and send a copy to someone else in another. He decided that this could best be done with the precision of a laser, another recent invention, which can use amplified light to transfer images onto paper. But then he had a better idea, rather than sending grainy images of paper documents from place to place, what if he used the precision of a laser to print more refined images straight from a computer? What you have to do is not just look at the marble, he said in a talk at the University of South Florida in 2017. You have to see the angel in the marble. Because his idea ventured away from the company's core business, copiers, his boss hated it. At one point Starkweather was told that if he did not stop working on the project, his entire team would be laid off. If you have a good idea, you can bet someone else doesn't think it's good, Starkweather would say in 1997 in a lecture for the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. But he soon finagled a move to the company's new research lab in Northern California where a group of visionaries was developing what would become the most important digital technologies of the next three decades, including the personal computer as it is known today. At the Palo Alto Research Center, or PARC, Starkweather built the first working laser printer in 1971 in less than nine months. By the 1990s, it was a staple of offices around the world. By the new millennium, it was nearly ubiquitous in homes as well. We still use the same fundamental engine to print billions of pages a day, said Doug Fairbairn, a staff director at the Computer History Museum who worked alongside Starkweather at Park. It was all Gary's idea. Gary Keith Starkweather was born on January 9, 1938, in Lansing, Michigan, the only son of Richard and Crystal Starkweather. His father owned a local dairy, his mother was a homemaker. Their home was near a junk shop where Gary would bargain for old radios, washing machines and car parts that he could tinker with in the basement, taking them apart and then putting them back together. As long as I didn't blow up the house, I was allowed to do whatever I wanted down there, he said in a 2010 interview with the Computer History Moose. For more on this story, visit the news article link.